has anybody told you that you're perfect welcome back to my channel so today you guys can see some Africanness, african and kara queenish things going on here so today i decided to bring you guys this look i've had this ankara like i said since forever i used it for my friend's wedding and she still wonders why i still have this cloth and i really love it it's beautiful so i decided to do an ankara in uh, ankara tutorial for you inspired by my ankara i hope you guys like it look at it look at it don't forget to subscribe it's right down somewhere okay the one on my video will be somewhere here the one on youtube channel will be somewhere here so you guys don't forget to subscribe to like to share to comment down below i love you guys thank you all for you know for your support i really really appreciate you guys and if you want to see how i achieve this ankara look keep on watching i call it ankara tutorials so cuties glam tutorials bring you ankara tutorials <laughs> my spirit is so bubbly this morning actually i wanted to put in i wanted to put in like white white dots just to give it the complete african look but i'm going out after this video and seriously i don't want to have to clean you know wipe off makeup then remake up to go out I ain't doing that so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this look as i was saying and i'll see you guys on my next video i love you guys bye transition color today is gonna be a blush from my house of tara blush palette i love that transition color ever since i used it on my last video that has been my go-to then what i'm doing right now is just as usual going in with my concealer to create a base for the eyeshadow that i'm going to be using i'm using these three eyeshadows from the bh cosmetics and it's what i'm going to be using to create my effect so i'm going first in with that green that lemonish something and i'm just going to be placing it up so what i'm doing is tapping it like i said guys always tap it don't just go uh, dragging it in because it's matte it's not shiny at all so i am just tapping it in and then i'm going back in with the second color which is a bit uh blue i'm just going back in and tapping it the same way i tapped the green and yeah i'm just trying to make sure it's um, all nice and smooth and i'll be going back in with the last shade of blue so those three colors i showed you guys is basically what i used and me just tapping it right in tapping is the best it makes it more visible and then what i'm gonna do right now is just tapping it again and why i did this is because i felt it wasn't visible enough so brush i'll be going in with uh, this highlighter from fenty beauty and it's the killer wax and i will just be highlighting the tear dot area up towards the lemon uh, shade color and i will be going back in with that same uh, blue and what i'll be doing with a flat brush is that i will be mixing it up with the killer wax um fenty highlighter to my lash line yeah my lower lash line that's just what i'm doing i'm mixing it up and just creating that effect perfect yeah just lining my eyes my under eyes i made a mistake of using my eyeliner to line my under eyes god it was horrible you guys see how red my eyes are don't do that don't you dare i'm just fixing my lashes properly right now but don't do what i did okay um highlight highlighter that's a, a highlighting underneath my eyes and smoothing it out with my beauty blender from fenty beauty collection i love this beauty blender and i am going to be putting in my foundation from sephora while I'm dancing and <laughs> i will just blend it out uh, smoothly and yes, you guys continue watching. Enjoy my show. It broke. Now it's not even coming out. I 
a little bit just a little bit I, and that was because I guess I just I don't know just because it's me and I am always extra so I'm just going in extra that's it I was emotional 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 I did some crazy shit yeah I'm sorry babe the face is already sculpting oh my god so for my lips i'm going to be using this matte me ultra smooth mac lip cream i can't even remember where i bought it from oh i think it's from sleek makeup i've had this thing like forever and i'm going to be using this ellie gill lipstick and it's um flat velvet let's just come up with something and my all-time favorite now as usual night moth I think it's about time I start buying different colors of lip pencil. This is my holy grail. This is the only one I have. I have a couple of other ones, but I say this is the only one I have because it's the only one I use. Like it's my trusted guide. It never feels good. I was emotional, 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 emotional. Cause I can't keep sleeping without a you right underneath me. Long time I actually used this lipstick. I've forgotten how nice it, it is. Mm. So with this, I'm just gonna line it a bit to give it an ombre effect. Looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the excess that we have as usual. Very important to clean your lips. You don't want to have your lips all over the place and your lipstick like falling off. It's not sexy. It ain't sexy. my holy grail you guys know it's always with me everywhere we're about to contour I'd give my life to you that you got my flowers been sitting alone for hours somehow can't get you off my mind before you fall asleep i'ma ring your doorbell throw a rock at your window come down just have to say what's on my mind i was emotional okay guys so this is how i achieved that hair tie you guys see that I don't have wig on and my hair is really rough. So if I just tie the hair tie like that, it might not really give me the full look that I want. So I tied two scarves and I'm going to show you how I did it. So I just folded it into two. You can see. Then I put it on my head. What I did is that I held it this way. I put in the long hand underneath the short one right so I just ignored the short one there and I but I held it tight so that it doesn't come off then I started tying it round so what I'm doing is that I'm just making sure that it doesn't get bulky I don't want it to get bulky from the roots so I'm just tying it round and basically that's what I'm doing I'm tying it round until it gets it's it, it gets here and i'm gonna take i'm gonna move it up a bit because that's where i want it to be and then i just take off the long the short hand that i left and the and the long hand that i tied around i'll just tie it together ignoring every other thing that is in my way i'll tie it around 
tie it twice move it up because I want it to be here then I just tuck it in that's it there's nothing major this part doesn't have to be smooth because remember you're still going to tie the, the scarf on top of it so I just left it like this and I moved it up a bit yeah so that was how I got first round it's actually not bad if I fix up this this one well you know I can actually do this I can actually take this out so this is the hair tie that I'm using this Ankara hair hmm. it's been over four years I used it for my friend's wedding the lady that I use it for our wedding every time she sees me with this hair tie she's like cute you still have this cloth and I'm like yes the cloth is good I love it and I love the print I love it so much I cannot give it up for anything so after making it uh, folding it into a rectangle shape is this yeah no after folding it into a triangle shape it's triangle triangle shape so and tie it so pull this up a bit because you don't want it showing beneath just leave a little so that it can cover your scarf underneath then tie Because I don't want it to show beneath. So that's what I'm doing. So this hair, S hair tie doesn't have to be like super smooth. Then you tie it up. You roll it up. And then you tie it right up here. You just have to use whatever is left but don't make it too tight up here so that it doesn't divide your head into two so what you have to do is just try to fix it can you guys see you see the way it was at the back Has anybody told you that you're worth it? That they haven't, baby. I apologize for them. I apologize for them. Let me know that you got my flowers. Been sitting alone for hours. Somehow can't get you off my mind. Before you fall asleep, I'ma ring your doorbell. Throw a rock at your window, calm down. Just have to say 